Okay, in this video, we're in Microsoft Excel, and we're gonna do some sensitivity analysis. Here are my inputs. At the moment, I'm setting 10,000 units. Price per unit, £99.99. That's my selling price. Production cost, £42.15. And then I've got some fixed costs. Down here, I have some profit and loss calculations, and these are formulas. So revenue, it's just units sold times price per unit. Cost of sales is the unit sold times the production cost per unit. And gross profit is just your revenue minus your cost of sales. Fixed cost, just the sum of these fixed costs here. And then my net profit is my gross profit minus my fixed costs. So those are all standard calculations and the reason i'm going through these calculations with you is because when we use data tables to do our sensitivity analysis excel needs to understand the relationship between these inputs and the relationship is explained via these formula now first of all i want to base my sensitivity analysis on selling price so I've created for myself a column of different prices. And in the column to the right, what I'm going to do is specify the calculation that I want to base my sensitivity analysis on. Now, I want to calculate net profit based on all of the selling prices. So in this cell here, I say equals and then click into that net profit calculation. Then what I do is I select this little table here. I go to the data tab on my ribbon, go over to what if analysis, and then choose data table. Now there are two possible inputs, a row input or a column input. It's pretty easy to tell what you're actually gonna use in a given scenario. My selling prices are all in this column, so I have a column input. But the column input needs to relate to the input in this table, and the cell that contains the selling price within this table is C4. So my column within this table relates to the input in C4. And because I have this formula down here for net profit, which I'm pointed to here, Excel understands the relationship between this value and my net profit calculation. So if I click on OK, it does the calculation for each selling price. And you can see at £99.99, I get the same result as I have down here, but I can also see the net profit for different selling prices. Now I'm just going to delete that and I'm going to add another calculation to this analysis. I also want to perform calculations based on gross profit. So I'm gonna say equals and then click in the gross profit cell. And this time I'll select the table, including those two extra columns. I go to what if analysis, data table. And again, my column input is the selling price. So I have to click on the selling price cell over here in my inputs. Click on OK, and I get a calculation both on net profit and gross profit. Now these values up here, I think make the table a little bit confusing. So you can either hide those values by just changing the font color. I'll undo that. But the other thing you could do is you could actually have an appropriate heading at the top of the column without affecting these calculations. So this is gonna read as net profit even though the cell is still linked to the net profit calculation down here in C15. So with that cell selected, I'm gonna use Control-1 to open up Format Cells, and I'm gonna to go to Custom, delete what's currently in the type box, and in quotation marks, just write net profit. And then this one, I'm gonna do the same for, but write gross profit.
Now, if my production cost per unit increased, let's say it goes up to 52 pounds, this is going to automatically update and also tell me where I start to make profit based on selling price with the new production cost per unit. Now, this is known as a one variable data table. Our one variable is the selling price. You can actually have two variables. So here I'm going to perform the same calculation for net profit. My two variables are selling price and units sold. So I've got selling price as my column input and units sold as my row input. And what you need to do is you need to make sure there is a blank cell at the top of your column input and to the left of your row input. Now that cell needs to be linked to the cell that's performing the calculation you want to base your analysis on. So that's going to be net profit. Now, once you have that in place, what you do is you select this entire table, it contains your two variables. You go to data, what if analysis, data table. So my row input, which is units sold, I reference in this input table again, and that's going to be C3. My column input, which is selling price, I also reference in my inputs table, and that's the selling price per unit in C4. If I click on OK, you can see it performs the sensitivity analysis both on units sold and the selling price. So I can see for each selling price how many units I need to sell before I become profitable. Now I've formatted these cells so that negative currency values appear in red. You probably know that that doesn't happen by default. If I just apply normal currency format, it doesn't show negative figures in red. But if you want to apply that format, it's Control Shift 4 on your keyboard, and then you might want to get rid of the decimal places. And that's the same thing I've done over here. If I apply normal currency format, it doesn't show negative figures in red, but Control Shift 4 on your keyboard is the shortcut key to apply that format. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next video.